Poundland's finest spectrum of brightly coloured solar LEDs. But the downside is that you open them up and you think they might have a matching colour of LED, but no, uh, it's just a cold white LED inside, which is a bit boring, but that's okay. We can fix that, and since I've got a big bag of pink LEDs right next to me, I guess this one is the one that's going to get changed. It'd be quite nice to change all of these. That may happen. But not in this video. It's going to be one that gets changed because the principle will be the same for them all. So let's get the spudger. I'll zoom down this a little bit. The solder iron is already up to temperature and ready for the mass soldering of LEDs. Is this... How is it held in? Is it glued in? No, I think it's just on pillars. It is just on pillars. Oh, it's got the tiny, tiny little cell. Oh, it's these little pillars going in there. Okay. Uh, and the circuit board... Is it actually held in by the LED being bent over? I think it is. Okay. Right. So we'll leave the switch off for this. And I'll just make a note that the negative is next to the this end of the battery. So we shall flow. Actually, I'll put some fresh solder in those to make sure it flows out nicely. Or I could just point the LED straight down and let gravity do the job. I shall reflow the LED's solder connection points. With some fresh solder, which will loosen up crusty old lead-based solder. Although these are very shiny joints. And since this isn't just dropping out itself, I shall apply a bit of pressure on the other side while I heat both solder joints simultaneously. Right, this is where I could have done with some desoldering braid. I do have desoldering braid here somewhere. Uh, the first one that's come to mind is tiny, tiny desoldering braid, but that'll do. That will work. It's better suited to tiny things, but in this instance it will do... And pretty well. I'll just end up using a bit more of it than expected. So, I shall lift this up. Grip it between my fingers and apply the soldering braid and try not to melt my fingers with super duper heat. With the desoldering braid, if you have any issues with it not so sucking solder up, add some flux onto it. In this case, it's done a good enough job. The holes are clear enough to stick an LED in. Let's grab one of my pink LEDs, super crinkly bag. I like to buy my LEDs in bags of a thousand because uh, then you get the anti-static bag they shipped out the factory in, which is good. Then again, sometimes you get a, a bag that they've repackaged repack them in uh, that they're all just mixed up and they just found any crap they, they could find. That's what happens. So the long lead is the positive. Is this actually marked? It's kind of marked with the outline of the LED package, so I'll pop this in here. And I shall solder one of the leads, just one initially. Oop, fumbly, because it's right next to the battery. And I'll solder this lead just because it is the most accessible for the solder iron. Let that cool for a moment. And once it has cooled, I shall just nudge that LED into position so it's nice and square. And then I shall solder the other one. This is also the point that you may want to waterproof your LED circuit board here because uh, these things, the water does get into them. And when it gets in, they get destroyed. Also, the other thing that happens is sometimes you get super duper sunshine in the UK. It's kind of rare, but it does sometimes happen. And because these have tiny little cells, they get overcharged and explode, which is very exciting. So there is the classic little uh, four-pin chip. I've covered that many times. I won't cover it again. But basically speaking, it does everything. It, it acts as a diode. You've got the four sections of the solar panel, putting out two volts. There's a 1.2 volt cell. It'll charge up to 1.5 volts. Um, the chip has a diode going towards that just to basically avoid dis self-discharge and then it's got uh, it uses that for light sensing and charging the battery and there's a little inductor here and by pulsing the inductor with an internal transistor it can actually boost the voltage up to led now here is the other thing they have to do these switches are notoriously bad but so you can bridge the solder uh, across the switch contacts like this and the light will now be permanently on Excellent. 
Now I just have to actually shield it from the light and see if this actually works. It's bright here. Yes, it does, right? Tell you what, I'll put it back together and show you it. So in it goes again, not worrying at all about the switch this time because uh, it is not needed. They've bent the LED to hold that in place while they've put the thing together. I wonder if uh, it's actually advantageous. Oop, trying to get that into its little mount there. Which could be quite fumbly. It is quite fumbly. I wonder if they bent that across like that, just hold it in place, put it together. But is it going to push in uh, if I push this back together and then fold that back? No, it's fine. So that's uh, something worth mentioning that you can fold that back. Right, tell you what, I shall put this over like this. I shall take the exposure. I shall zoom. And I'll leave it where it is. I shall take the exposure off, turn the light off. And we have our pink light. That's not bad. It's not super bright, but then these are more what, what you might call marker lights. Um, and it's just basically putting out a small splash of light so you can actually find where they are in the garden. This is the type of light we have in the UK because, well, we don't have much sunshine. But that is it. Watch your eyes. The light is coming back. So that is it. How to swap out an LED in your light to make it more appropriate to the colour scheme. Well, just whatever colour you want, really. You can also upgrade it by putting in a higher efficiency LED if you can, if you have a preference. But there we have it. Uh, an interesting little light. The usual construction, the usual thing. Um, easy to upgrade with a new LED. And that's always a good thing for personal customization.